Hi, this is Tanya Rayburn Taylor with Royal Voice Productions. Got a news flash for you. You need the Word of God. And I've been doing some typing on this already, and I just had a scenario my daughter and I were involved in, or almost involved in, partially involved in, at a local store that could have turned very serious very quickly. It actually was turning more and more serious in front of our eyes. But because we know the Word of God and have the Word of God, and know how to dwell in the shelter of the Most High, the secret place of the Most High, God, the Lord Jesus, who is our peace and safety, we were covered with the blood of Jesus, the Word of God, and we did not fear. And we do use wisdom in these situations. And what happened was I picked her up from school. We stopped by to get something that she needed for school, just, you know, moseying around, relaxed, not thinking about anything much, just kind of chilling. And we get in the parking lot, we get out of the car, start to go into the store, and there's this two vehicles that start whipping around in front of us, like chasing each other. I thought it were just teenagers acting stupid, being dangerous enough as it is. So Tori's starting to walk, and I, I say, stop, because I don't want her to get in the path of these vehicles that are driving crazy. She stops, I'm looking at these, and they start circling around again. Then I realize it's an undercover cop chasing somebody trying to catch him. Here in the parking lot of this store with people move, milling around in Texarkana, USA. We do have crime here, but we rebuke it in the name of Jesus. So I'm just sitting here watching it and then all of a sudden I realize this could be very serious. We need to get remove ourselves from the situation. Now I'm not panicking. I'm not in fear because I know I have the blood of Jesus. I have a covenant of safety and protection with the Most High God. I know that His angels surround me and keep me safe and my daughter because we both have a covenant. We both receive the Lord Jesus as our Savior. So we have that assurance. Also, we know we have the wisdom of God. But in situations like this, not but, and, when things are happening quickly, you need to know who you are. You need to know what you have. You need to know that you know, that you know, that you have a covenant of protection, the wisdom of God, that Jesus is right here, the angels are surrounding you, because if you don't, you could really get messed up quickly. Physically, emotionally, you know, if fear were to attack you, you didn't know who you are, have that confidence of protection, and that, that God was taking care of you no matter what, you could freak out and call attention to yourself or something, and who knows? Again, we were not in fear, but when I saw the undercover cops start getting out of the car. I thought, all right, shots could start flying any time. Because you don't know what a criminal is going to do, especially if they're on drugs or just angry. Who knows? If they're possessed by the enemy, you don't know what they're going to do. And again, we weren't in fear, but I told my daughter, I said, get in the store now. And she starts walking. I said, no, go, go. Speed it up. And she's asking me later, shouldn't we got back in our car? No. <laughs> so we have the wisdom of God, the peace of God, and the protection of God, and the wisdom of God to remove ourselves from the situation and pray. Now when I saw the cops start getting out of the car, I immediately bound Satan. And I used to think this kind of talk was way out there. But I'm telling you, these are the days we live in. You need to know who you are, what you have, and how to use it. You need to know the Word of God. This is, as my pastor Tracy Harris says, your cover. This is your shelter. This is your protection. This is your shield. This is your sword. This is what you must have in these last days. And Psalm 91, you need to learn it. If you're not a Christian, you need to ask the Lord Jesus, Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of armies, the Lord of hosts, to come in and be your Savior, your protector, your guide, your wisdom, everything you need. These are the last days. You don't want to be on the wrong side. You don't want to be caught in the line of fire. And you're open to the enemy. You're open to the line of fire, so to speak. If you don't have a covenant with the Most High God, Jesus, the protector of all. If you do, then you can have the right to everything in this book, which is the covenant book. You have the right to say Psalm 91. I would advise you to learn this psalm. If you don't have it, I would advise you to say it, to memorize it, as my daughter and I have. If you don't want to carry around your whole Bible, fine. Print it off. Write it off. Uh, this is actually Psalm 25 on one side and Psalm 91 on the other. Here's what it says. And this is what you have a right to if you have the blood of Jesus covering you because you've agreed to ask Jesus in your heart to be your Savior, your Lord, your protector, your friend, your guide, your wisdom, and more. It says, He who dwells 
And we make this personal. We dwell in the secret place of the Most High and remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no foe can withstand. We say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress. Our God on Him we lean and rely, and in Him we confidently trust. That means we don't get all messed up when there's something dangerous going on. Jesus, but you don't, if you don't know this, then you could get killed or worse. And if you don't have Jesus as your Savior and you get killed, you're going to be eternally separated from God. That's what hell is. There's so many sermons in this, but let's, let's continue with Psalm 91. It says, when you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, which means you become one with the Lord, you have, you're, you have the protection under His wings under the blood of Jesus when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then you're dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. It says, you say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. It says, for then He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will deliver you from dangerous, harmful things, whether it's the flu or a crazy man on drugs with a gun or whatever else could happen. Then He will cover you with His pinions and under His wings shall you trust and find refuge. His truth and His faithfulness are a shield and a buckler. He fights for you. He protects you. And once you receive Jesus, you have a guardian angel that is on 24-7. And I can tell you right now, my daughter and I, my family, we would not be here if it hadn't been for God's faithfulness to His holy angels many times over. And the picture in verse 4 of the Lord covering us with His pinions and His feathers is like a mama bird covering her little chicks and hugging them up close to her keeping them safe and hidden from the wolf, which is a picture I used to tell my daughter, who's now 16, I used to tell her about, she needs to stay close to the Lord, close to me, close to our wisdom, because we're here to protect her from the wolf, the devil, who wants to devour her quickly. But he can't have her, he won't have her. She has the wisdom of God and the protection of God, amen. She stays close to him. So it says, you shall not be afraid of the terror of the night, nor of the arrow, the evil plots and slanders of the wicked that flies by day. So you don't even have to fear people talking about you. If God has adopted you as his child by the blood of Jesus, he's pleased with you. You don't have to try to please anybody else. You already please the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We don't have to be afraid of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, the swine flu or the bird flu or the Mississippi flu, whatever. You don't have to be afraid of that. You have a covenant of divine health and healing through the blood of Jesus. You don't have to be afraid of the destruction or sudden death that surprise and lay waste at noonday. And tsunamis, hurricanes, storms, floods, shootings, whatever. You don't, fires. You don't have fear of that. You have a covenant. A thousand may fall at your side. Ten thousand at your right side. It will not come near you. You can be in the middle of two armies fighting. If you have a covenant with God and you're doing what he tells you, go here, go here, don't go there, don't do this, you're protected. Only a spectator shall you be. Yourself, inaccessible, not accessible, because you're in the secret place of the Most High. You will witness the reward of the wicked. Their reward is not pretty. And that's not God's plan. He wants everybody to receive what Jesus did, but He's not going to force anybody. He's a gentleman. It's a choice. Make that choice today. If you haven't made that choice today, make that choice today. What have you got to lose? Nothing. Only everything to gain. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the most high your dwelling place, there shall no evil befall you, nor any plague or calamity come near your tent. So he's saying the same thing in many ways in Psalm 91. He will give his angels a special charge over you to accompany and defend and preserve you in all your ways of obedience and service. Now if you go jump off a building and say, angels catch me, it's not going to work. You use wisdom and sense. God is a practical, wise God. And he loves you. The angels shall bear, the, bear you up on their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder. These are destructive things. The young lion and the serpent shall you trample underfoot. And God says, Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he knows and understands my name. He has a personal knowledge of my mercy, love, and kindness. He trusts and relies on me, knowing I will never forsake him. No, never. He shall call upon me, says the Lord. And I will answer him indeed. Even before we cry, God will answer. He's a faithful daddy. He loves you. God says, I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. 
with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. My sozo. That's the fullness. God's will for you is abundant life, long life, safe, peaceful, productive, free life. Choose Jesus Christ today. You'll always be glad you did. You'll never, ever regret it. This is Tanya Raven Taylor telling you you need more of the Word of God with Royal Morse Productions. Have a delightful day.